Before I go to the website, I'm going to show you guys the escape menu. Now, this is really good because you need to know this. Now, if you are wondering if you're on the right server, it's PEI on Panda Hut number two. Make sure it has number two and not number one. Um, now, if you're trying to escape, you can actually get banned for this, so don't do it. If you're trying to, I mean, you have to wait 10 seconds before you can actually exit or you can suicide, but I wouldn't do that unless you're trying to get a better spawn. You can mess with all your graphics and display and options and all that shit. But if you don't want to wait that 10 seconds, you can just click the red X and it'll exit out. But that is actually called combat logging, just like in Minecraft, only it's different. Because you don't actually get combat tagged, but it's just like if you get caught combat logging, you will get banned. So just heads up, don't do it. Now, you see down here, it'll say favorite. Make sure you favorite the server so you can see it better. Now, let's go ahead and exit. And I'm going to show you guys what it would look like. So, it would be under servers. And favorites, as you can see, it's saved right here. And it has 18 out of 24 players. Now, if you're a donator, you can get a reserve spot like I have. Now, what you would do at first is go to connect, type in, you know, the, the IP that I put in my last video and then type in the port there is no password just connect after that this is just the shitty server that I had before pay no attention to that now for this I already talked about that so here it is Panda this is their website you can get your donator rank now I actually have to show you guys this because it's really important for you to actually see this because I was really confused at first, and if you put it in wrong, I'm sure that will help you out. But just in case it's they can't, you I mean I don't know. I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. So you go down here because it's different from you know donating on a Minecraft server than it is here because it's you'll see. So as you can see, you go to donate and I love their website. I think it looks awesome. But you can get a VIP package. But the cool thing about this is you get money so you can buy your loadout, but you don't get kits on like, like other servers, they'll usually give you really OP kits like rocket launchers, crazy shit like that. I hate those servers because people will literally sit there and spam those kits, get crazy money, stuff like that. But your essentials kit, you only get one kit. And you get a permanent VIP weapon of your choice, or a weapon, whatever. Um... You can only use that every two hours, which is good because you can't just sit there and spawn them in and sell them. Or just spawn them in and, I don't know, make scrap metal, make metal bases, stuff like that. So, your essentials kit goes up by each rank. But even at the top rank, it's not super, super, super duper OP. Now, you get the essentials kit every two hours, which is... Wait... Okay, yeah, you get it every two hours, which is your MREs, like I use med kits, vaccine. It's just basic stuff that you kind of need to survive. Now, for the ghillie suits, that's good because, you know, ghillie is really expensive, so you you pretty much have to buy it from the shop. Um, and I think it's 3000 a piece, but you get that every 24 hours, so it's good. As well as a reserve slot. Um... I am VIP. I am MVP package, which is twenty dollars, and you get pretty good stuff. So, as well as the full ghillie, which always helps, and the blue chat color is the main reason, as well as the experience and the money. Now, if you let's say you want to buy something, now this is where I'm going to show you guys. So, if you want to buy just VIP, you will click this, and you find a gun that you absolutely want as your two-hour weapon. So, basically, you get it every two hours. But here's the thing, don't just click on any random ass gun thinking, oh it's still good, blunt force sucks, ace sucks, don't do it. So what I would do if I were you is, you know, go on here, go on a, like a website, look up what, you know, what are really good guns on, on turn, because then you get to figure out what's good. For this, I would recommend um, Eagle, yeah, the, the, the Deagle Eagle, or the... This, I don't know how to pronounce that, but those are pretty good. But if you're going to get a donated rank, I recommend just getting VIP Plus. That's what I start out with. Because then you can get your Maple Rifle, which is really good. Timberwolf is another good sniper. Um, but if you're MVP, 
I you can you can actually pick two guns. Make sure you message the owner about because he hasn't fixed it yet. But I talked to him about. It. I'm like, I think it should be more unique. So he's adding more unique features to it. But you can get stuff like this. So I have the Timberwolf and the uh, Maple Strike. But if, like I said, you go to MVP Plus, which is the top, you can actually pick some really crazy good stuff like the Grizzly, which is what I use. The Shadow Stalker, which is a really good sniper. They use his rails and stuff like that. So let's say you want to buy it. You want the Avenger. Um, you would click this right here, which opens up this website. Because you got to find your Steam ID. Now, you have to log in through Steam. It's not going to steal your shit. Don't worry. But I already have it logged in, so I would press Profile. Actually, let's go ahead and log out just so you guys can see this. Um, but, alright, so you would sign in through Steam. So you sign in, and then you, you know, you put all your shit in here. So let's say, Jared the Great One. Okay, and then my password. So then you, you know, you just put in all your information and shit in there. And this is Steam, as you can see, it's secure, it's not a fake site. And then it'll give you this information right here. And then you would go down here, and as you can see, this is your Steam ID 64, which is basically what people can see that is, is your Steam profile. Because, like, okay, if you play, if you use Steam, you know that you can actually change your username. So let's say somebody else comes in, Jared, you know, the same username, or maybe one letter off, and they give it to that guy. That's what they want to make sure it doesn't happen. So then you paste your ID in there and you just buy now. And it's see now it's the same as any Minecraft server. You would pay with your PayPal or whatever you want to use. PayPal is what I think you have to use. Um for the staff, Maiku and Mushy are the server owners. I'm pretty sure my Mushy is the main owner and Maiku is just like he's helped for a long time. I've never actually seen these guys, so he's inactive currently. Skidoosh, I'm pretty sure he just runs a website. I'm not really sure exactly, but he doesn't really play as much. Um, he doesn't actually play. I think he just kind of maintains his games and stuff. These guys, the unturned community moderators, are the people that are playing the games. Now, thing about this unturned is mods get god mode. Now, don't be discouraged thinking they're going to abuse it. They're actually really tight about that, which is good. Because I've, I've came, I've played with, um, I played with him, and I've played with Tri, no mix. Um, and I played with Chicken, I think. I'm not really sure, but in Giant. Yeah, I've played with all these people, except for him. I've never seen him on. But, uh, they, they get God Mode, but that's only if they're actually moderating they can turn themselves on or off duty. Now, if they're on duty, they're in God mode. If they're off duty, then it takes away their God mode and any commands that they might have. So, like, force TP and stuff like that. Now, they might force TP you and just kind of, like, you know, yell at you or something. Just to, just to joke around. But don't be discouraged and start, you know, calling out abuse because they're not going to do anything to you. Um... Like I said, forums, you could just... And if you need help with donations, I had to do this. It's not automated. Because it's a new server. And it's really popular, though, at the moment. Um, so, you buy a rank. And then you would press on new topic. And then you would just type in and be like, Hey, I just bought the rank. I'm just needing it, you know, added into my account. And then he'll get on really quickly and just add you into the group. And that's it. So once they get that automated, it'll be perfect. But as of now, they don't. And um, that's about it. Honestly, I think that's. In case you're wondering, that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm gonna link this into the video because it's really useful. I have to use it because there's no way in hell I'm gonna memorize all of these IDs. It's crazy. Um, if you're going to spawn in a car, I forgot to show you that, you would do slash, this is what you would type in, slash by space b dot 
and then the number, the ID. So if you wanted a black off roadster, you would type in 001, and then you'd buy that. And I think they're decently expensive, so if you're going to do it, make sure you have the money to do it. All right. And that's about it. So Steam IDO, you know what this is now. And um, yeah. And you can look up this, make sure it's not a scam, because I promise you it's not. If you're going to use any server and you want to donate, this is how you always will have to do it. So you always have to do that. Um, and you don't actually have to log in. You can actually just look up an ID or look up a, a player profile. Um, I'm not really sure how to do that. Because like I said, I'm new to Steam. So, um, yeah. That's actually about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And the next episode, I'll be actually doing some good gameplay. So, um, thanks for watching and peace out.